Um, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Elizabeth Diakola Madila. I'm a medical officer in, at the Intermediate Hospital of Shakati in um, internal medicine. I did, I'm working at a, a state hospital. So Intermediate Hospital of Shakati is a referral hospital in the northern um, uh, part of Namibia. I um, took, undertook a postgraduate diploma um, in endocrinology under the MEC Foundation um, Nationwide Hypertension and Diabetes um, Blue Points Program. Uh, MEC Foundation, um, uh, doing this course through MEC Foundation was a dream come true um, because, I mean, we have very few uh, specialists available at our hospital um, and we hardly have any endocrinologist. I mean, throughout uh, my uh, varsity days, um, internship, and of course, as a medical officer, I've never come across an endocrinologist. However, we are still getting uh, patients who had endocrinological disorders. So with this information, I noticed that there was a knowledge gap in endocrinology. So I decided then to do this postgraduate diploma in endocrinology, which was on an online platform. This was amazing because then I was still able to continue helping my people, my patients, at, at work while of course um, undertaking this um, online uh, program so it was um, uh, easy um, um, for me and of course I learned a lot I gained a lot of knowledge um, from that um, program so the course content um, was comprehensive enough I learned like um, what I said earlier I really learned um, a lot um, of course, the, 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 the course content came from covering anatomy, including embryology. Um, so it was a good revision also um, to the uh, med school days, took us back to the good med school days. Um, of course, it also um, impacted on now the clinical aspect, um, seeing um, patients on a day-to-day basis. So um, the, 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 the course was, um, has a, had a positive impact. Um, then and of course today, because with that, the knowledge that I gained from that course, I'm able, I've been able to teach my fellow colleagues, teach interns that are under us, um, teach um, in, uh, medical students, um, so and also manage endocrinological, endocrinological um, diseases effectively. So just as an example, we actually had a patient, a 34-year-old female. So she was diagnosed with hypertension in 2014. And unfortunately, because of this hypertension, she has been getting a lot of preeclampsia, um, uh, which is um, severe hypertension in pregnancy with some um, uh, uh, um, complications. So she had so far two previous miscarriages because of the chronic hypertension. And she also have had um, ter uh, two termination of pregnancies because of this uh, chronic hypertension with superimposed preeclampsia. So then um, this year, around June, we got called in again. She was pregnant at 18 weeks um, with very high BPs um, in, a, in a hypertensive emergency, actually. Um, and um, unfortunately, had suffered a missed miscarriage again, yet again, this year. So um, because of the knowledge um, that I got from the postgraduate diploma in endocrinology, I noticed that she actually had a, a, a mild hypokalemia of just 3.2, which under normal circumstances is not something that you, that can really worry you because you think, oh, it's just mild hypokalemia. But because of the course that uh, MEC Foundation funded, this triggered what I learned, which was even mild hypokalemia with hypertension, remember primary hyperaldosteronism. So we started working her up for that, for the primary hyperaldosteronism, and indeed it was confirmed. The results came back um, earlier this month, and indeed she really has a primary hyperaldosteronism, and we started her on the menorocorticoid receptor antagonist, and she's doing quite well now. So for someone who suffered all those miscarriages, has been having with this refractory hypertension for the past close to 10 years, and couldn't be really properly be managed because of course of um, resources and of course um, lack of knowledge here and there with the knowledge that we got from this uh, MEC foundation and 
me being able to also teach my colleagues and, uh, um, and, and, and the interns, we were able to come up with this diagnosis and the patient's life was positively impacted. So yes, it was a very good um, course and um, yeah, I, I, I hope everyone else gets a chance to get um, to do a course with Make Foundation. It's, for, it's free for us, but of, of course with so much positive outcomes. Cases that we had was just the one we mentioned, of course among many. Other ones were patients, of course young patients coming in with a, a refractory hypertension and then they actually have features of Cushing syndrome and then you end up actually waking them up for the Cushing syndrome and they, they get confirmed who wouldn't really have, have that high index of suspicion if it wasn't because of the sensitivity that we got because of the, of the course. I 100% um, would encourage and anyone to do uh, this course, um, especially through the Med Foundation. Um, it's, 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 it's knowledge literally at home, your most comfortable, in your comfort zone. You, all you need is just a laptop and Wi-Fi, which are widely available, and uh, you can get all this, all this information. So, and learn, and with this, only through knowledge that we can actually positively impact the healthcare of, of our people, and we have to equip ourselves with the knowledge as healthcare workers. So I 100% recommend anyone to do um, these courses. To Make Foundation, I would just like to appreciate um, Make Foundation for this um, uh, positively impacting um, program, uh, especially to be in Africa, uh, with many, many patients, with limited resources. These kind of programs really allow us to um, gain the knowledge that we need to still care for the patient. So thank you very much, Make Foundation. Um, may you continue to do this. Um, it's a very, very, very great initiative. Thank you.